For New Shepherd, we've been following an aggressive step-by-step -step approach from the beginning. The first time we flew New Shepherd, we demonstrated every single aspect, re-entry, parachute deployment, and that mission was 100% successful for the capsule. M2 was about rolling in changes and trying it again. This time we stuck the landing, but we needed to show we could do it again. So that was what M3 was. For M4, we pushed the envelope, lighting the engine just seconds before it would impact the ground, and we perfected it at that time. In M5, we intentionally did not deploy one of the main parachutes, and it worked perfectly. We had done a pad escape test that the capsule can launch and escape if there is an accident on the pad. The M6 mission was about testing that at its most stressing condition. We ignited the solid rocket motor in flight and showed that we can recover the capsule safely. For M7, what we introduced was a new capsule design. M8 was just a repeat. And then the third escape test was to show that we could escape in space. So on M9, the capsule laid off its uh, solid rocket motor and landed safely. M9 and M13, we are flying payload missions for customers, giving us even more and more confidence in the capability of the new Shepard system. 13 was a perfect flight preparing for the M14 mission, another verification and check. We're ready for first human flight.